today we're out here, we have this epic canyon kind of range where there's lots of random things with mud and everything and uh, there's some little cliffs here and there's some little valleys and there's some mud down there. So this is gonna really show me what, what level they're at. Also, they're gonna have to listen to me going up and down. They're gonna have to trust a little bit because this is a little bit uh, of a sketchy area. There's a lot of different random things here. So they really have to pay attention. They really have to listen, but it's a great fun thing to do with them because this is a new environment. They've never been here before. And it's just a lot of fun. There's so many different things we could do here. So I'm just gonna start to work with this little foal and we'll get going with it. So obviously I want them just to start to come into this little area here. So he's uh, being a bit resisting, but there he goes. Sending them that way, that's good. I'll continue to send him. I want him to get used to going down these little gullies and things. Okay, forwards, forwards. Thank you, that's good. See how he doesn't want to go into this little area here? So you'll notice he's jumping around a lot and everything, but he is quite fresh. We just started him. There we go, that's good. So he's staying very close to me, which is normal. There we go. I wanna go ahead and send him up here. And up, they usually don't have any problem with. It's down that they have a lot of problems with, so. When I'm sending him down, I'm gonna to have to get up here myself to send him down. Apply pressure, apply pressure, apply pressure. There we go, that's a good little try from him. So I'll pet him on the butt, tell him good job. Good try. Now this is a little steep here for him. So I might just move him along a little bit. Ask him to move his butt over, away from me, thank you. Back him up here a little bit. And we'll find a slightly easier spot for him to get down. So let's see, this looks pretty easy right here for him. Don't let them crowd you in the front end. There we go, okay, so there he put his little foot there. He, he started to try, so I'll reward him, I'll pet him, tell him good job. I might actually come down here myself a little bit. Apply a little bit of pressure there. Tell him, come on, you can do it. There we go, that's good. So when he does a big try like that, I'll reward him by stroking him on, on his little neck. But this is a totally new environment for him. I think that over here would be a little bit easier for him. I think that this is a better spot for him there. He wants to stay up here. There we go, good boy. I'll go ahead and desensitize him there when he's in that halfway point. Very good job. That's perfect. Now I can slowly encourage him to bring his, his hind legs down too. There we go, perfect. So this is a big, a big step for him. So it's good to reward him and pet him and tell him, good job, that was scary. And you handled it very well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and send him down here. Okay, just let him figure it out. Let him walk through there. Stop, turn and face me, ideally. There, good job. Send him back up this way. There we go, good job. And every time that he does something well like that, I could stop him, ask him to face me and desensitize him, or just let him relax for a second because he's doing very good. He's thinking through everything. This is very new and very hard for him mentally. Okay, now again, bring him down. Look how much more confidence he has now. 
because we've taken it step by step. We've let him relax down here a little bit. So he's doing really, really good. Okay, I'll go ahead and encourage him to go a little bit more. And now we'll just move on to the next exercise. So right here, he's crowding me. I'll ask him to back up. Back him up a little bit here. Okay, good job. Very good job. So there's a lot of little different cliffs and things, but I want him to get really good about when I send him up something, they should try his best to get up there. You'd be amazed how well they can hop and jump and everything. So this is really good. And this is also a good opportunity for me to desensitize him like this on both sides of his body. So we're able to run through some of the exercises while we're having a good time going over these obstacles. Great job. So it's a learning curve for him, but he's doing very, very well. Okay, so let's see if right here you can come down. This is a bit too steep for him right here. I want him to come down over here a little bit. Come on then. <laughs> I thought that was too steep for him, but he turn, turns out he's a bit of a mountain goat when it, when it comes to these hills. Good boy. So right here is a great opportunity for me to desensitize him. So anytime that they give me an opportunity to desensitize them or to, to make them relax or to when they stand good and they've, they've ended the little jump well, I love to reward them with just a little moment to relax. And that really just helps them to, to maintain some focus and things and not to get too stressed. Good job. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and lead him next to me here. See if I can just lead him a little bit along these gullies. This is really good. Okay, now I wanna just send him up here. Now this is really fun because there's so many little things that we could do. And they can just pick a little spot that we want the fold to end up in. And then when he's up there, desensitize him. And tell him, great job. This is a little shelf up here he's just kind of perched on. But this is a great place to desensitize him, to stroke him. And it's a little hard for him to stay there, so I'll go ahead and ask him to come down. Good job, good job. Now let's see how, <laughs> how he takes this one. This one's a little steeper. He's taking advantage of eating some grass there. Good job. Horses are the ultimate four-wheel drives. Some people say mules are better, which is probably true, but horses are really good. Okay, so we've ran through all of the desensitizing already. All the while we've been practicing different things like control, building his confidence, everything like that, okay? So I'll ask him to stop right here. <laughs> He's coming, coming in towards me, but that's okay. It's a steep hill. Good job. Letting him know he's doing a good job. See him licking his lips. He's relaxing up here. So then I wanna just kind of walk my way along this little shelf, sending him up and down. And this is gonna be great because he has to listen to me. Even though I'm not directly next to him, he has to still listen to me. See right here, he's a bit confused. So just show him where he needs to be. There we go. There we go. <laughs> good job. And when he gets up here, I can stroke him, tell him, good boy. Very good job. Now this is really fun for him because it's something new and it's something a little bit different. So I love to find things like this for horses so that they don't just get bored of doing the exact same thing the whole time. There he kind of stole my stick from my hand. Anytime that they're below me like this, it's a great time to pet on them because this is gonna get them used to someone being on top of them when they're being ridden. So there's nothing wrong with just taking a little minute to stroke on them any chance you get with this kind of thing. Okay, so he's doing very well. He just, he came down, but he didn't come all the way down. So what I'll do is back him up a little bit and then send him, send him all the way down. There we go. 
Now let him let him feel the halter. Let him stop. Good. Whoa. Hey. <laughs> All right, well, that was interesting. Now, you notice that I was asking him to, to stop down there first. I didn't want him to do what he just did. But sometimes they don't listen to you, and that's okay. Uh, the good thing is this is all soft mud. See, I didn't even want him to come here. Let's see if I can get him to, well, now that he's already there, I guess we'll bring him down that way. So what I want him to do is stop and face me and just relax there, okay? So I don't want him to, to rush to come back up. So I'll just encourage him to stay down here, stroke his little face. Because what will end up happening, we'll go up and down the same valley a million times. What I want him to do is to come up a different one and go down a different one so we can progress along. There we go. This is a really great way to build their muscles as well. When they're jumping like this, this is great for their little muscles. Now obviously he's pretty tiny, so this isn't an easy, easy thing for him. But he's doing very, very well. And he's being very confident from when we first started, he wouldn't even go down. He wouldn't even begin to walk down here. Now he's, he's about to go down anywhere I ask him to, even places that aren't very safe for him, but this is gonna be okay here. There we go. Okay, so there's no rocks in this bank. There's just a lot of uh, little, little gravel stones on this part of it. So that's nice that I have a long rope. I can send him here easily. So see how he wants to come towards me? That's okay, but I want him to realize that I'm asking him to go a little bit farther away from me. That's great. And then stop him. Let him rest down there. Whoa. Uh -uh -uh. Hey. Let him rest down there. I don't want him to be in a hurry to get back up here. There we go, just let them rest down there, let them relax. Because what can happen is they'll stop listening to you if, you if you let them hurry and do different things like that. If you let them do whatever they want, then they'll just run into you both going up and going down. That's good though right there. You can throw the rope over him. Let him relax a bit more. Okay, now send him up here. There we go, stop him, have him back up a few steps. Great job, good boy. I'm in the middle of filming an epic video series of training this wild horse. If you wanna see that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Half of you watching this aren't even subscribed yet, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, you can like the video. That helps it get more views. It's free to do both of those things. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and it helps me a lot. So I appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next video.